welcome back to News Geelong. We Australians are proud of our ute, designed here at Ford Geelong by Mr Lewis T Bant. But the Chevrolet company is equally proud of its buckboard, which research indicates is in a South Australian term for a roadster or tourer, cut down to a utility or as known in the US of A, pickups. Our resident motor historian Ian Nichols filed this report from the Torquay Motor Show. Well, today we're going to have a chat to you about your passion and your wonderful 1929 Chevrolet Buckboard. Well, it's already been described as the vehicle of the show. It's a ute and it belongs to... Buckboard, buckboard, <laughs> a buckboard. buckboard. Utes weren't around in 1929. <laughs> That's right. It's Laurie Cushion from Newtown. Uh, nearly a local boy here at Torquay. This is amazing. And the, the, Mr Cook, the farmer from Diapur up near Caniva, you've uh, managed to save this from the scrap heap by the sound of things. Yeah, it, um, it was on a property up there and uh, the, the uh, guys were getting a bit old and wanted to shift into town and uh, sell up. So uh, as things are up there, the, uh, the small farms, you can't make a dollar. They've got to go bigger and bigger and... Any new, any new farmer goes in there, knocks over all the fences and makes the paddocks bigger and bigger and bigger and uh, this was going to the scrap heap and um, they said, no, it can't happen, it can't happen, how good. Well, you've done an amazing job, a full resto and, uh, well, not... Uh, well. Uh, it, it's, well, it's roadworthy, it, it uh, yes, does the job. Yes, that it is, it does the job, yep, um, and, uh, blue... but, it's, but it's as restoed as it's going to be. That's it. <laughs> it's staying like this. Well, it's a it's wonderful, good fun. wonderful attraction. It's, um, yeah, good fun, it, got, it really is. You've got Blue, the farm dog in the back, and yep. uh, Henrietta, the chook. Yes. And a yep. couple of bales of hay, I think, so it's, yeah. it's an authentic farm buckboard. It is, that it is, I mean, you can go anywhere. Um, you can go anywhere in this and, you know, I've got the yabby pots on the back and I've got uh, the chook to lay us a couple of eggs, that's alright, I've got the dog that can go and get a rabbit, I've got the rabbit traps on the back. Um, mate, it doesn't matter where you go, you can live, you really can. And, and uh, people, people who aren't from the bush just don't get it. You can go up the bush and you can get in this and you can drive and you can live. You don't need folding stuff. <laughs> and on a 40 degree day like today, you've got the water bag, got canvas the, bag. Yep. Keeps the water cool, does it? Been, yes, it does. I've been drinking out of it all morning. Um, that, and of course, we're fully air conditioned. As you can see, we've got the air conditioner open. That's right. Um, so, yeah, look, she gets a bit warm driving down the road, but, um, you know. And a huge se se Oh, mate, yeah. got to keep an eye on those engine revs. Mate, they're huge. I get to at least a thousand. You know, it's. Uh, <laughs> but you know, you can drive this down the road anywhere. You can go anywhere you want in it. The top speed, you know, 75, 80 k's an hour, which is all you need. Exactly. And and it's just a different motoring. You know, it's um, and there's too many of these just going to the tip. Yeah. You know, it's how good is this? It is. I mean, if I had to go, I could go to Adelaide in this now if we had to. Well, It'd take us a while, but by uh, geez, we wouldn't miss much on the side of the road and see everything. <laughs> yeah, you're a bit of an enthusiast, obviously. Yep. You've got two other vehicles here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, uh, got a couple of hot rods as well, but, um, you know, I just wanted to keep this one as a um, as it is because, yeah. we're, you know, as well, I said, we're not going to be around for much longer. 1929, have a look at this. You can, you know, how... How solid's the steel on this? You won't even bend it if you did that to a new car. Um, you'd be in the panel shop. Well, they don't make them like this. What is this, actually? I it's, an, it's a 1929 six-cylinder Chev buckboard. And it's not a ute. It's a buckboard. All right? Well, so have to Google one of those and yeah, see just have how a, much it might be worth. Have a look. Um, it was the first year of the six-cylinder Chev board. First year Chev board out of six. Um, and it's all original motor everything. You can actually see these were actually built um, a fair bit by Holden before Holden were a car manufacturer. Wow. I've still got the badge and everything on the side. They used to come into Adelaide from America, built back to the B pillar here beside us. Uh, and then if you wanted to buy a, a buckboard, they'd put the old timber back on as it is there. If you wanted a tourer, so an extra couple of doors, uh, they put Holden out here as a bodybuilder used to put the back on them. Well, you could take up a whole program talking to you, Laurie. I'd say, were you a motor mechanic by trade? Hell no. No. No, I'm a carpenter. Oh, okay. but, I, but I love cars and I love playing with things and, uh, and yeah, just I enjoy my motoring. You certainly do. And so will the people here today. Enjoy. I think so. I, I, yeah. It really is great to see 
I love these old style cars, you know. It's a real showpiece. It's a, yeah, no, I'm very happy with it and she's not going to change. I'm, I'm not spending any more money on her and she stays. She, as I say, it will rust gracefully. Well, it's very cool under this corrugated uh, roof and uh, we wish you all the best today. I think you might take home a prize. Oh, no, no. look, it's not about prizes. It's no. about, about showing things. So let everyone see what's around and, you know, another 20 or 30 years, this will still be here, but by God, there's a lot of them that won't That's be. That's right. You're dead right there. Thanks again, Laurie. All right, mate. Cheers, Great mate. With Good you. on you. Cheers. Okay, mate. Rolling. Speaking with Laurie Cushion from Newtown, an absolute enthusiast who just loves his vehicles. This is Ian Nichols for News Geelong. And thank you, Mr. Revhead, Ian Nichols, and of course that Chevrolet Buckboard. Now a look at tonight's regional roundup. Assistant Defence Minister Stuart Robert will tour Geelong next month as lobbying for the $10 billion army contract, its vehicle contract ramps up. COGG Mayor Giddy Up Geelong Darren Lyons is leading a bipartisan bid to secure the Land 400 defence project for Geelong. The Federal Minister for Veteran Affairs and the Minister assisting the Prime Minister with the centenary of Anzac in 2015, Senator Michael Ronaldson, will be a guest speaker at the 72nd commemoration of the Darwin Defenders to be held at the Geelong RSL in Belmont next Wednesday. February the 19th at 11am in the forecourt of the RSL in front of the Cenotaph. And while on this theme, Geelong and Australia lost a proud and dogged Rat of Brook, Mr Len Wemus, this week at the age of 95. Len was with the 2nd 23rd Infantry Battalion, which was part of the 9th Division, working in intelligence and skillfully composing the battlefield maps which guided his senior officers. Mr Wemus was farewelled yesterday afternoon after a moving service at Drysdale. His close friend and the Geelong region's last living rat of Brook, Mr Ernie Bruff, paid tribute, saying Len was a very intelligent soldier, keeping up with all the map drawing situation on the ground. Lest we forget and rest in peace, Len Wemus. As we go to sport and the weather, back after this with Alex Tikitagani and the Sports Arena on News Geelong.